Welcome back to the Snooker 19 Community World Championship. Today we have a first round match between Virtuoso Reloaded, who represents Ding Junhui, and Tommy Triangle, who represents Martin Gull. Virtuoso being the seed in this case. And uh, it's a best of three once again, first player to two frames. This features the famous Tommy Triangle from... It's been referenced in every match so far, actually, that, that last year went in off, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. And also Virtuoso, so this should be an interesting match. I'm Toby Jones, and joining me is Mike Chin in the commentary box today, also known as Chinny. I think it's his first match on the uh, Snooker 19 Community World Championship commentary. So, how do you see this one going? Uh, well, I, you know, well, thanks for having me, by the way. Uh, just, uh, I feel so fresh-faced to this whole thing. <laughs> I haven't looked at Snooker 19 for a while, so I'm excited to see some matches. But uh, I don't know, you know, Tom, Tommy's a bit of a, he's a bit of a dark horse, as we see uh, Ding Junhui just miss the pack there. Um, yeah, but Tommy can, he can pull out the, the shots when he when he wants. And, Foul and a miss. You know, he can surprise you. But four. yeah, that was a bit of a, a bad miss on the pack. It was. We've we've seen a few of those in the other matches I've been commentating. And I think players just playing to play with a little bit of side. Um, yeah. And, and well, clearly on that occasion it's not working. So I, I don't really think there's too much of an advantage putting him back in or, or playing as he is. No, no. But he's going to play yeah. this. Is he going to play the pot? Yeah, he, he is. is. That's, oh, that's there. unlucky. That's unlucky because he's One. just covered yeah. the black up. Horrible luck, played the positive shot and hasn't yeah. been rewarded for it in any sense of the word. So, I mean, he could play the blue here, but it's just going to be five points that leads to nothing. So, Yeah, I can't thing. see real any way of going into the pack here. So he's just um, sort of playing safe, pretty much. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know who I have pegged for this. It's uh, It's been a while since I've, uh, I've seen Tommy Triangle and Virtual so play. So and I haven't played them for a long time, so I don't know if they've improved or they've gotten worse. I certainly have gotten worse, so <laughs> it's just uh, it's just it'd be interesting, really. But I've always um, I've always got a soft spot for Tommy. <laughs> I think we all have, especially after what happened last year. We said we weren't going to discuss it, but that was no. uh, a real face palm moment. And, uh... <laughs> So, yeah, but by the way, Tommy's uh, he's been doing well on Radio Four. I don't know if you've seen this stuff. But he has, he has. Yeah, yeah, he's been he's been getting some uh, some love on Radio Four. He's got like a comedy show on there, so he's he's been doing really well. I yeah. haven't had a chance to listen to it, but I have been messaging him saying, uh, "Well done, pretty much." Oh, just hit the the jaw of the knuckle of the pocket there, but I think he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Let's just hope this isn't a comedy show. Luckily, uh, Ding Jun Wee <laughs> for <laughs> Virtuoso. So. Did it the Reds on that occasion. It's just a bit of a cagey start here, really. It was a shame because mm. as Tom really went for the positive shot, and as we said, it was. It's going to be a struggle now with that that black tied up. Yeah. And so it's going to be a struggle for anybody to to make anything. There could be a loose red on here. Yeah. Yeah. This is a potential chance here. But the blues off its spot again after the red. The potential isn't isn't great with that black not being available and the blue off its spot as well now. You'd be, you'd be hard to... You've got to play this posit positively, I think. I think mm. you've got to mm. really just hammer this in and, and maybe help to, to kiss the red next to the black or uh, to dis disturb some, some... Yeah, he's played it a little bit soft for me, but he's uh, he's played it with safety in mind, so he's OK. But I think I would have been tempted just to to give it some, I think, just to make something of this this frame. Yeah, possibly. He has left a half chance here for Virtuoso, so mm -hmm. that's the risk of being positive. You can leave things on, but at the end of the day, you can't be negative all day. Uh, no, let, no. Let's see. Well, he's thinking about this, playing this with a fair he's bit of pace. It. It's, it's a straightforward pop, but yeah, it's it's just the colours are horrible at the moment. The blue's the only tempting thing, and he's got on it nicely. Oh, just about missed the black there, but he will just about. pot the... well. Again, the, the the potential here because of the colour situation is just one. Wow. It's not great Does he have an angle to go into him? No, he doesn't. No, not at all. Uh, no, so he's he's stuck again. <clears throat> Praying for a plant, just... probably of some sort. To, to yeah, come that's out, what he's but... looking for. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, he's going to have to play a bulk colour. I, I think green is the only sort of colour that would go into the pack. Mm. Um, but it's such a tough shot. Maybe Brown could get there, but. I'm not quite sure really what he's trying to achieve going for the yellow, but 
hit and hope yeah, this, I think. Yeah, I think he's screwing it back, and you're just never going to get the power into it. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, he's got, he has got a red, though. I tell you what, that was a bit unfortunate, you know. He was very close right. to getting that kiss on the red. Whether it yeah. would have been hard enough to really generate anything is another thing. But as you say, he's got this half chance on the I, red. I, I think he got lucky there, really. I don't mm. actually think he played no, for this. No, no. No, but I think he was kind of hoping to hit something. Um, but, you know, he went for it at least and he's looked paid off. I mean, now he can do a little bit of something, get on the blue or a bulk here and disturb some red. So it's a key shot for me. I think this absolutely starts to open up the frame a little bit now if he takes it on but it's well worth taking a bit of time over tricky pot but looks okay to me oh oh wow dear dear but had to take it on you know had to, we, you know he, he, he got it on and he had to take it and to me that looked mm. pretty close and as you can see it is pretty close you can't get much <laughs> yeah. closer than that, and that sometimes yeah. is the problem. You, you, you'd sometimes rather be a, a mile away and not leave anything on because here, again, there's another red that's come out. The pink's a little bit more likely now. Yeah. But let's see. Let's see what uh, Tom's done. He's potted the red. Now the yellow's now off its spot, which well, I don't know could make one. a difference later on. I was commentating on a match where one of the colours was moved and made a real difference at the end of the frame. So it's something to oh, bear yeah. in mind. Yeah. He's, again, he's, he might have an angle here to do something with these reds. And I, Not I at that place. It, no, he's played it so soft there. I just, yeah, I just, I just see a lot of hesitation from these players, and I, I get it because he can be a little bit nerve wracking when you when you you practice and practice, and then you, you come to an actual match and you have to make sure you win. And I think it can sort of, you know, uh, make a lot of players hesitate. And yeah. look, look at the very tip tappy match here. Like, you know, he's just played into the to the bunch there, I and mean, and it, uh, it's not like it's inappropriate, but he could have been so much more, I think, from that blue. Yeah, I would agree with you. I think it's just that risk versus reward idea, really. That mm. if there was a, a larger potential, I think he probably would have paid that with pace. And again, as we said, it's the first frame. Yeah. But this is an interesting shot. <laughs> Again, I, I don't know if I could call that a hit and hope. Um, no, I don't know, really. But he's got away with it. Again, you see, he's he's had a little bit of luck, I think, Virtuoso. He has, is, but uh, I think that at least that starts to open up the frame a little bit because that black was the definitely. real inhibiting factor. So if you get rid of the red next to it, yeah. things start yeah. to open up a little bit. But what is Tom going to go for? Based on what he's done so far, I'd suggest he goes for a pot here of some kind. He does go for. I don't think you can see that that one, you know, in the pack. Yeah, now. I was thinking that. about that. This seems a yeah. bit soft. This does. Oh, you know what? If it goes in, shake the table a bit, Tom. There we go. Uh, oh, there we are. Just about drop those are marginal. Now he should be able to see that red, shouldn't he? There shouldn't be any problem with that. Yeah, red. I think he can one. bring this the, pot the black, bring this back a little bit, and then he might might want to think about getting on the 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 black after that red and. Just yeah. go on, going into the pack, he'll have a, He's got a nice sort Eight. of pack to go into if he hits it right. So, yeah, you'd, I think. I mean, you could go either way. You can go to the pack from the top or the bottom. It's, it's, it's quite a nice pack. So, let's see what he does. I'd, I'd have gone low on the black, really. Nine. Yeah, he hasn't got much to work with, really. There, a few big no. shots for him, and he's he's passed the first test. But this, it, it all really builds up. All the hard work he's done builds up to this, and hopefully getting the split on the reds. But. Yeah, it just falls a bit flat for me, which is understandable. Again, it's it's accumulating points that might be crucial 16. at the end of the frame. That's it. And is this this on Master Plus? It is. It's on Master yeah, Plus. Yeah. yeah. So. so it's it's not easy to predict where the white's going to go on Master Plus. I got to give him a little Ooh. bit of credit. Did he hit the reds there? He did. Yeah. 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 I That's definitely tough. saw it move. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's a shame. It's it, it is tough Martin on Master Ball, Plus to kind of sixteen. You, you've got to be really practicing, and one of the reasons, Toby, I didn't, I didn't put myself forward for this tournament this year was just I haven't practiced in Master Plus for a long, long time, and I was just so out of touch. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. And I just didn't. I, I knew I was, I was not going to make uh, uh, go go real deep really in this tournament because of the, just the lack of practice. So. Yeah, well, you know, if, if anybody plays well, it can be made look, to look easy. But as you can see, the tentative nature of the players here isn't really by, by choice as such. It's just that the consequences of not hitting the power bar and getting the shot wrong in any other way would uh, mm. be disastrous in this rather cagey affair at the start. But Tom has got the advantage from those few points he scored. I think that's just 
you know, by virtue of being positive at the end of the day. He's potted a few good reds, a few long-range reds. And, again, he's got a bit unlucky, as we said at the start, with the black and the, the, the black being tied up with the red. And uh, mm. But but Tom has been the better player so far. I know we can't judge so too much, but... So. Well, I'm going to judge. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to judge. Yeah, it's uh, it's anybody's frame now, because it's just going to be who's going to... Who blinks Who's going to poke a red out first, and who's going to pot one first, so... Um. Yeah. There oh, we go. he's going with this, side this, again. This is dangerous. This is tricky. Yeah. Master plus. This can be very, very tricky. So, what's he aiming for here? Here we go. Just on the just the nope, skin of the paint them. there. Yeah, yeah. He's just trying to touch the paint really on that last red, but. Fortunately, the ball's it. bounced the right way, though, and hasn't gone careering back into them. Not that I don't think it made much difference from there, actually. No. Um, but he might get this. Hmm, this is Ball a, a miss. If he had hit Bottom the reds, this would have been a cracking four. position, but obviously, as he Three hasn't, ball. this could. Uh, yeah, really I don't, be I don't a know if that's a. I don't, I don't think that would be a free ball, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a tight one. Let's see what Tom does here. Even if it was a free ball, I don't think. There's not a lot on. No, as Maybe. you said, you know, there's just not the potential at the moment to make anything happen. And if there was, you'd no. got to play a pretty dangerous shot to do so anyway. So a cagey affair at the start here. Very, Another four very. points for Tom, which could be crucial at the end of the frame. Because I don't think yeah. there's going to be any <laughs> famous last words, I know. But I don't think there's going to be any sort of big <laughs> score here. It's going to just be chipping away unless there is a big mistake made. And that could have been it. But luckily the ball bounced the right way and didn't go back into the pack. Tommy's thinking about it. He is. He is. If we don't have Tommy's view, uh, I'm not sure what he did there. No, nor me. Why he didn't roll up to the yellow, or I have no idea what went on there. Um, but that's Tommy. You can't predict what Tommy does. True, it's but it's just... still a tricky safety from here, isn't it? I mean, he's just going to. Yeah. You would say he's just, just going to roll up and try and get onto the black cushion. Yeah, I just I'm not sure what the thinking was, but yeah, he. Um, He's not in any danger, and it's still tip-tap sort of frame. It is still tip-tap, but he's hit that red a little bit thicker than he'd have liked, and if there's a good angle here, potentially, that red will go on the edge of the pack. So that might open things up slightly, but let's see what Tom's going to play. Oh, I don't know I'd if he's there. That, well, that was, very, that was like the last one. It seemed either very thin or he didn't hit them. And after his good start, that would be well, not ideal at all, and he has Fault. missed them yeah. there. Yeah. All in a miss. Things and we virtuoso playing on from here, is he? Mm. Ah, he's going to force him to continue. Yeah. Understandable off the cushion. Yeah, I mean you're on the right side there. If he was on the if the white was on the left side, that shot at the that red at the bottom of the pack is a shot for nothing. But yeah, he's pretty safe there. Quite a good shot though there, you know, and very mm. nice and he thin. Has, he's left the shots for nothing here. He has. He's tempting, tempted for this one. Martin Gould is going to be screwing his face after this. <laughs> now, we haven't seen uh, too much positivity from Virtuoso yet, but of course there is time. hasn't really had too much of a chance yet, and we might just see that here. Not playing this with too much pace at the moment, unless he has a sudden urge to bring that up. But let's see what he's going to do. This this angle to me, again, I'm no expert, but it doesn't look far off. Looks a bit thin to me. There you go. Still got it, Toby. Still yeah, got it. Still got it. And look uh, where that leisure. red has ended up. Yeah, yeah. This is risky now. So this this has more or less a natural angle on the black. This, yeah, this could be dangerous for virtue. So, but got to pop the red first. Got to pop the red. And it and looks he's, like he's been, there. He's been taking these. Oh, uh, that's a good shot. Yeah, this is this is what you want. This is exactly what you want now. This is the the shot then, the one. most important one you'd say yeah. so far of this frame. Yeah. That's how yeah. it goes. This is, this you know, is a we frame. We all know winner. how this one goes. Well, maybe not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I was just watching oh, the cue ball there, I must confess. One. I thought the black was a certainty, but nothing a certainty oh, on Master Plus. That's a funny old shot, and he surely hasn't got an angle on this red from here. And surely he's not considering playing it from there. Wow. I, don't, I can't. Well, I can't see it. I think well, he's playing this far too thin anyway. But yeah, no, he's where's the cue ball going? Oh, he's okay. Very thin, a thick cut off the blue there, and again the blue's off its spot. Hmm. Everything apart from the pink. Well, the pink's not having a right spot actually, is it? No, so, uh, no, none of the colours are Everything off its spot. 
but the this doesn't look still... like it's going anywhere. We might need to go and put the kettle on because uh, <laughs> yeah, could, I might have to refill my coffee yeah. for a while here. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, it's starting to look like a um, a club match. To be fair, um, yeah. it's it just no one wants to open those reds up, which is understandable. And it's so you you know I kind of I've quickly forgotten how nerve wracking these matches are, and, and I know it's it's just video game snooker, but still. I remember my first match and I, last year, and I was really nervous, you know. And I don't really get nervous very easy, and it can be nerve wracking playing a match. And it can. a bit it, of pressure. It, it, and it's... it's a good simulation, I think, Snooker Nine Team, whether it intends to be or not. A good simulation of that pressure. It really is mm. just by yeah. you know the, the tightness of that power bar. I don't think we've had that in previous Snooker video games. That if you go slightly outside that bar, much like you know, if you slightly miss hit your shot in real life, yeah. Well, the cue ball can go anywhere. But, it can go. Uh, anywhere, yeah. Again, another but shot with side. Oh, he's just about hit he, them Yeah, there. he hit that well, but he's hit the jaw. And I don't think he wanted the white to go there, but he'll take it. He will, he will. I think the other factor here you've got to consider is that it's only a best of three. You know, normally, of course, we'd have best of 19s, but we're not being paid for this, so I don't think I'd like to comment out on a best <laughs> of 19. So, no. well, certainly based on this frame so far. But no. because it's only a best of three... I know that it sounds trivial, but the first frame is massively important here. Get a mm. lead, or mm. rather, don't get the lead, and it's almost last chance saloon being you yeah. know, one nil down with with two to play. There's no, you can't get into. Oh, well, he's missed that as well. Yeah. But you, you can't get into like a a flow. You know, you can't get into a good run uh, when it's best of three. It's just you know you've got to win two frames, and anybody can win a frame against anyone. Um, so Ball it's it's tricky, really. Thing That's why they're playing it four. so tight. So yeah, he's he's putting him back here, which I uh, don't blame him. Um, but it's a simple shot, really. I, 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 he's playing it with side, but I don't think you really need to play it with any side, to be honest. I, I think you can, if, as long as you miss the black like that. There you go. You're okay. Second so, time's the charm there, obviously. But yeah, uh, I, don't, I, I, I don't know if putting him back was the right thing. He, he just sort of mis mistimed it, really. So now he's. He's got a harder shot for it, and again, this isn't too difficult. Natural angle, back in bulk. It's it's going to be this for a while, I think, Toby. Yeah, I mean, we're we're hoping from this point of view that's famous last words, and something yeah. does open up. But you can understand again why both players playing like this. It, it seems crazy that there've been what a cumulative amount of forty-three points scored. But I think truthfully that maybe well, at least a third of those have been scored on foul points, so not Fouls, particularly. Yeah. Mm. Many pots, and if there have been, there's been a few stuttered starts, and you mm. know it's well that was uh, way off the mark. Oh, and another four points given away. They're giving them away to each other like anything here. Yeah, they're just giving them away like nothing. Hey, I'll do you want miss. another four points, Toby? Yeah, I'll have four. them. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? And I'll give you a four point. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. We'll, yeah. To me, to you, to me, to you. I'll tell you what, Toby, I'm dying for real life snooker. I've been getting into real snooker again. I haven't yeah. played for for since 2012. And then just when when last summer, when lockdown was easing up, I was playing real snooker again. And I'm, I'm just absolutely dying for the clubs to open again. So this is not helping my addiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can imagine. But this is what we've got at the moment. Of course, we've got the, the world's proper as well. Mm -hmm. So we, we've got a double dose. It's, you know, yeah. there's... there's all sorts of things going on, and just a special mention to Mr. Goodspeed, Joe, who's done you know a brilliant job getting this all together. Obviously, we're just the, the cronies who are part of the commentary I've, team. I've literally just turned up, Toby, <laughs> and, and just started talking. So it's all Joe, credit to Joe, yeah, and yourself. But uh, no, it's, it's been some great organisation by Joe. I think that uh, we get. I mean, this first round is interesting, of course, from a. I don't want to say a novelty point of view, but I can't think of another word to put in there. But I'm going to Oof. stop there because for the first time yeah. in a while, we actually have a pot. Yeah, yeah. And the, we actually the have is... half of a chance here. The yeah, pack seems to one. disperse slightly, and we've got mm. two or three reds that could be possible. So virtual. So he, know, he knows this is the chance now, and he—I mean, he's—he's he's a little bit behind, and he's—he's he's really got to catch up here. So he, I think he's going to be feeling the pressure a bit here. He's looking at what red to play. Here we go. Yeah, I think ideally you want to not get on this this side. You want to get on the other side, but some of the reds do go. But yeah, take your pick. Really, there's uh, three, yeah. four, or even five reds that might go here. 
but as you say anything that just something that feels comfortable at the end of the day you've got to think mm. about position long term it's the biggest chance it's not just a cock and a hoop here that you might get a it's few so shots difficult. it's so difficult to judge where that white's going on Master Plus yeah, but you've, yeah. you've really got to just practice and practice on Master Plus to get a good feel for it and he, he's judged that really well actually he has brilliantly in fact couldn't have done it much better Four. like Stop. Ding himself yeah, yeah, definitely. Gone off the ball, so, though, Ding, recently, since that uh, well, UK yeah. Championship win. Every, everybody always expects a lot from Ding. Like, like he's going to win it this year, he's going to win it this yeah, year. Well. And he never does. He always sort of bottles it. But he's a brilliant player, obviously. But he just I don't think he's got the the bottle from, for the big matches. Well, that's how Virtuoso represents him. I don't. I don't suppose representing him well would be the right phrase because you know, well, it would work well for him there. But I suppose showing a bit of bottle here. Oh, come on, ball! Come on, ball! Come on, ball! Oh! Oh! Wow! Things wow! Four. That's insane. That was massive. Now, Tommy should really clear up from here. Like this is, or not clear up, but. Just you know, don't he's, follow he's, on the red. Oh, thank God he's not playing that one. I think no, he's got no. bad memories. But what was that? He's got uh, post-traumatic stress disorder from <laughs> going in off on that red last year. But one, yeah, I think this is. He needs to part. You know, four or five reds here. Do some damage. And this black is is oh. tough. Yeah, yeah, that was a tough black to be fair to him. But he should have got it still. Martin Gould. One. Virtuoso, counting his lucky stars here. I don't think he expects to be back yeah. at the table so soon. No, I mean, he wants to be careful not to pop two reds here because he could easily pop two reds. So, yeah, I think he looks like he's aiming just right of the second red. So, yeah, he could do. Yeah, that's okay. Um, One. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been gifted a second chance here and I, di I didn't expect it. I wouldn't have expected it if it was me. Um, no, certainly not. And I think that can be a problem sometimes. You you don't expect it and you're almost in a state of shock. That's why you've got to hold your bottle on these occasions. <laughs> yeah, and he's got he's got a tricky... Because the, the Reds have kind of bunched together again here. So he's he, he's got a couple Eight. that go, but he, he he really has to play around this pack quite delicately. delicately. Yeah. And if he, if he can see one that goes in the pack now, I'd be tempted to go for it if like one went in the middle or something. But because he's just... They're so hampered. Um, it's going to be tricky to to clear up now. Um, it is tricky, it's... but not impossible. You know, we haven't, no. we haven't seen too much from either player in terms of uh, potting ability so far yet, and building a break. And this is mm. well, we said that beforehand was the first chance, but this is now the big chance. This is it. Yeah, he's got a good angle on this black as well. He has. Yeah, that's just um, about pulled up. No. Yeah, I think. I think for me, I'd. Yeah, it's 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 risky here because he playing little cannons and. Delicate stuff here. If that if that red went in the middle that he's looking at there, which I think it does, I'd be tempted just to um, go for that all that low red there in the bunch. And go, you know, it's just playing cannons and going into packs here would be would be tough, risky stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's no guarantee of it, and I think at this point you just want to, even if you don't clear up, just get a good total on the board. Get he's doing it though. He's doing it. That hasn't yeah. worked out too badly. No, he's, he has. He, it has worked out for him. I just, it just felt 16. a bit risky for me. But yeah, it, you know, it's always a bit of a, a look draw when you go into to the to the reds like that. But it's it's worked out. Fair play to him. So two reds, two blacks. This is going to be the third one if it goes. Tell you what, what is it with these very seventeen delicate shots where they barely even reach the pocket? We've seen a few of those this match. I, uh, yeah, I think people are just so scared for the white to run on and get out of position but yeah but yeah. being too cautious he's, he's leading to these sort of shots here and he's got yeah. no real guarantees here he's got to play this well yeah he could he could if he played it a bit harder it would come off the black a little bit square and and might possibly get on a red but no he's he's rolling it and he's got a couple of reds 24. in the middle here he's he's okay but even though we're dubious at the moment, you could say there's a bit of luck about it, but he is building up a bit of a break. It's certainly the yeah. biggest break we've had so far, and he seems yeah. to be quite cool and collected about it. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's it's looking decent. I mean, he, he looked like he, he was having no chance earlier when he just fell short a bit of the pocket with that red, but yeah, I think he's 
Relieved, risky flying yeah. over that pace into the middle, but it's gone in. Yeah, and it's brought River Red into play nicely. I think he was just desperate to get back on the 25. black. I, know, I would have been tempted just to go for the pink there, but he's uh, he's played that really, really well. And now he's got an absolute frame winner of a chance here. All reds can go. Natural angle to get on the 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 one red on its own here. This is looking good. And Tommy, you know, he, well, Virtuoso had the original chance, of course, and then uh, yeah. Tommy came yeah. to the table, didn't make anything of it, and it's, no. it's a funny state of mind to be in. I mean, obviously, he, there's no guarantees Virtuoso will take this chance, but it's, it's fairly likely now, and that's got to play yeah, havoc with a player, really, because Tommy played the good shots early on, and even something, as we said earlier on, when he potted that red originally and got horrible luck on yeah. the black you know it's just amazing to think how different this frame could have been but there's time there's time yet for Tommy to get back into this but at 1-0 down if it is to be 1-0 down I, I think he might he might not but I think he might start to curb those shots because one shot goes wrong and as we can see Virtuoso has got his eye in yeah he does he's, he's got flowing now and he's getting a bit of confidence and it does help like real snooker when you're just getting a couple of breaks in it does help you just to relax a little bit I mean, if he's playing the, yeah, he's just playing to go up. But yeah, it's a nice little break at the right time. They both had chances, though. You know, they neither one can really grumble. Tommy can't sort of claim they didn't have a chance because they both had a lot of chances. And uh, yeah, it looks like this is going to be a, a frame winner. It is. I think I'm correct in saying it's red, black, bread for the frame. So uh, that will quick maths there, Toby. Yeah. What can I say? But oh, look at this. this might be a little bit suspect for the black. It's it's yeah, not the tricky. sort of shot you want to be playing at this point in a frame, whereby no. it's a long way back for your opponent, but not impossible. So is he going to play yeah. for the, albeit slightly easier, but still tough pink? Yeah, Brave you shot can... at this point, but probably understandable given the cutback on that black. Yeah, I'd expect this to go in pretty pretty easily. Don't just go to judge. stop playing with side. No. What's he doing here? Oh. I don't know what's... So he's going off the top. You could easily screw this back. I don't. I don't understand why this is such a. Why is he doing this? I have no idea. You can screw this back. Very very easily, but he's playing off the top cushion. Off the ball he's cushion. brave. It's there. Now he just needs position. He's yeah. hit the green. No, he's lost it. I mean, he's, mm, he can I think still. He has lost the cue ball. You can still pot it. It's still potable, but that was a bad said. shot to me. You could easily screw that back. You didn't have to travel that far. Always take the simplest, shortest route, in my opinion. And and now, I mean, what's the math, Toby? My math isn't very good. So he just but... needs the red. That's all he needs. You know, yeah. If you'd have, have played that shot, as you said, and because uh, Tommy's not going to give this up easily now. You wouldn't think, anyway. You know, he no, might play one no. shot and give this up, but I, you would expect Tommy to Engine show some real grit seven. here. He needs every ball on the table to win this frame, barring any snookers, of course. But, again, yeah. this could have been oh so easier from Virtuoso, and that, mm. if he does lose this frame, which I, I can't see personally, but if he does end up losing this frame, that could be disastrous. Is he going to... What's he doing here? He's trying to... Get the red ball. I don't know if he played that or not, but he's got the red on the cushion. Yeah, and he don't forget Tommy needs the the red with a with a, a black color, pink or, yeah. or or a blue to draw. So it's going to be it's going to be tricky for Tommy to come back here. It is, You'd but expect... a battle that Virtuoso shouldn't really be fighting here. This no. looks like he's got a good line. Oh, this though. is a good shot. This is a good shot. Oh, just slightly. Was he slightly overdone that? But again, you know, it, well, I would say that's safe. But is it? I think no. uh, yeah, I, I, this is potable. It is. And does Tommy just say, "Well, I haven't got much of a chance. I might as well go for it." <laughs> yeah, you, you could either really start being cagey or just go for everything at this point. And from that um, sort of angle, looks like he's going for the pot. God, look at and this! going to drop. It just really worries me when players play it that slow. I and mean, look, I know that he he wants to stay on the black and so on. But if he'd have played that a little bit harder. He'd have been on the black even better. I'm not. I don't see the logic of playing them that slow. No, and also it's left him really hampered here. If whatever he plays, he's going to play the black. Let's see if he pots this. Again, why has he played it so soft? Like, and has he snookered himself on the yellow? I think he can see it. I think he can see it. Eight. But again, yeah. he, I, I can understand why he's done what he's done, and he's got himself back in the frame. Obviously, the the maths don't change. He still needs every ball on the table. 
Yeah. Just play a good shot to reward yourself. Who's played that thick? Very thick. I don't think I would have played it on that side. I, would, I think I would have sent the yellow on the other side. But it's tough. I, I mean, it, yeah, Ball, it's it's tricky, eight. and he's just left a, a shot to nothing really for Virtual. So he's definitely going to go for this because the like white's a good angle in the to right. me. But again, yeah. I got it wrong before, but it, it's such fine margins. But he might as well go for this. I don't see much of a harm. The way yeah, the exactly. table is with green, brown and blue off spots, it's going to be tricky to clear up from here. So get the that yellow looks good to and me. that should that be the looks frame. Good to me. This looks close. Great yep. shot. Excellent yep. shot. And that should, albeit it took a little bit longer than it should have done, but that should give Virtuo, so I reloaded the first frame. Get this green just to make sure of things Two. and possibly even the brown. But I think from here... This should be Virtuoso's frame. So a bit of a way back for Tommy. I don't think he can be too discouraged, though. He's played well, hasn't he? He's, he's you know, albeit, yes, one or two mistakes, but both players have made one or two mistakes. Yeah, but Virtuoso I think it's first frame. clinically in the end. First frame jitters, isn't it? Uh, I think yeah. you've got to get the, the cobwebs out and dust them off and so on. So, yeah, I think they both redeem themselves in the end. But, yeah, a little, little few ropey shots here and there. But we're all guilty of those. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So the first frame, just over half an hour there. So it was cagey. But once we got into it, you know, Virtuoso mm. started to hit the balls. The pace started to increase. And I think I, I wouldn't Nine. be too surprised to see another cagey affair in the next one. Because we haven't seen it from Tommy, but I'm fairly confident that if he gets a chance, he can make something from it. Hmm. He's going to go for the blue here. It's not going to matter in terms of the frame. More for his self-confidence, and he's just about missed that because of the pace. But it's not going to matter. Tommy will concede then. That's going to be the first frame of the match. It's a virtual, so reloaded. Ding Jun Wee, nine. You would think he'd concede here. <laughs> you never know. You never, you never know. know. Four snookers needed from this point. It's a tie. So, well, I suppose five points, five points, isn't it? So Still four snook. Yeah, he's Ooh, going to he play isn't. on here. Went well. Do I blame him? Yes and no, yes. but that's yes, gonna be I the end that's gonna be the end of that. Yeah. That's Quit the game. The end of that Quit there. the frame, Tommy. No, which he has done, I don't blame him at this frame point. Conceded. So that is frame, frame over Virtuoso Ding wins the opening frame as we do a few minutes ago. Thank you. The second and, frame uh, Ding Jun we to break. It's Virtuoso who gets another shot, he's gonna break off here for the second frame. Oh, this should be an interesting affair. Just hit the reds this time, for goodness sake. Don't, yeah, uh, it would be nice. Uh, don't miss them. <laughs> it is a little bit. Uh, it is a little bit embarrassing sometimes when you you break off and. It has happened in real life, though, hasn't it? You know, it's not just a yeah. Snooker nineteen only issue. I remember it happening to Sean Murphy not that long ago. Yeah. So it can it happen. happen. Yeah. It doesn't happen, you see, with these new style break offs, Mark Williams no. trademark, but. Uh, Funny old break off those, if you ask me. The, the, after a few shots, the cue ball seems to be in the same position, but that's very safe. But that's nice. This is a good break off as well. Very nice break off. Yeah, nice hasn't left anything. Green. So we could be. In... Oh, Ooh, well, this... that red was close to being a yeah. flip. I mean, you know, if it had gone in, I'm sure he said that he was going for that. But this yeah, the, is the reds are a, cons... a lot more open this time yeah they are so this could it, be yeah. a, a cut and dry affair he might just get on with his virtuoso but we might be talking a little bit too ambitiously <laughs> but no he might be going for this yeah he's going for it he's going for it that looks he's, good to me that's close. To... that's close that's close so is he going to get down and play this or change his mind he's taking a bit oh he's playing it with more power yeah, that scares me or oh, maybe not he's black. playing it with even more power He's going to kiss the black at that pace, surely. Yeah, well, yeah. it's more than a kiss, more like a tonsillectomy at that pace. <laughs> and that has not put the black in a good position <laughs> no. at all. I don't think I would have played it that hard, but it's easy to <sighs> Yeah, it's easy, it's to, easy to say in the comp box. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you saw it straight away what was going to happen. So, yeah. And from a frame that was pretty open, it's just, with that black, it's almost like it's gone back into the stable door. It's, it's, it's back closed yeah. again. And I think he's going to play this blue with a bit of screw back. And subside. Oh, God, this is frightening. Yeah, this is mad. I don't think I'd risk side at this point. I don't. I mean, know we said sides... Tommy was a positive player, but some of the shots we've seen here from Virtuoso we might have to give him the title of the most positive yeah. player here. I just, I don't see what the side's doing here because the sides. I think it's going to kick the way he does it. The way he's playing it, he's going to kick off and put left side on it, and yeah, it's just going to miss, mm. miss the whole pack. So 
yeah, I'm not really sure what the point of putting side on. Six. I think he would have been better off just hitting it in the middle of the like screwing it back, but in the middle, and you would have had a again a natural angle to go in the bottom bottom of the pack. And I don't know. I think side sometimes just makes people feel a little bit better. Maybe puts a little whiz on the ball where they expect things well, to there's happen. There's no whiz there, is there? You know, it's, no, it's, it's not led to anything. And I would no. have been a bit worried if I was Tommy when he took that initial red on. He's missed that red there. Yeah. When he took that initial red on, I'd have been a bit worried. But again, you know, he played it too hard. Things and as soon as he hit that six. black, that's where the frame started to... Well, that's where the break started to end, effectively. The, with the black not being on its spot, it's so crucial. And the reds aren't open anyway, so... I'd be tempted here to put left hand, sorry, Ooh, right hand side, well, and yeah, there you go. If the reds weren't the open before, they are now. Yeah, like that 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 was a perfect shot to just bit of right hand side. One, play it, it was positively. a perfect pop, but the position's tricky to say the yeah, least. Yeah, you're always you're always yeah. risking it with the with the position. I mean, he's he's got he's got a, a, a high tariff black, but mm. if the black goes, but yeah, um, I'd have played the same thing there. He's he's a bit unlucky here. Um, Very. He was unlucky with his with his opening shot. I know I keep harping on about it, but he has been unlucky throughout the match from that first pop we've seen. Mm. So deja vu almost here. Although even worse because the the consequences for missing a colour or not playing a good. I mean, safety from here being nightmare. But he's going to play this black oh, to the middle. In the middle. Oh, that's and hard. to be honest, uh, it's way off. But I don't think you'll probably have the pace to get to the pocket anyway. No, no, no. It's, that, 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 that's the risk. I mean, he, he was Martin unlucky Gold not to get in anything. I, I, a bit of respect there for, for going for that shot. Unfortunately, he didn't really see a colour to go safe, and it's so hard to play safe when the reds are open like this. On snooker 19, long shots are a lot easier than they are in real life, so to get someone in a safe position is is tough. Yeah. Um, But, you know, it's not... It's not a foregone conclusion. No, certainly not. I mean, this, I this first up. shot of the, the break here is going to be massive. Yeah. Might well just yeah. miss this, and, and it might be the reverse of what we saw in the last frame, that Tommy might be straight back at the table. But again, he's not playing this if he is decided to play this with not a lot of pace. Once again, yeah. he's going to face the issue of a, a big pressure pot on a colour. Yeah, he's gonna. he might have a long red to the, to the top corner. But yeah, he's, he's, he's undecided... And what he's going to do here is he's going to have to go off the top cushion and come back up. I think this is the shot, a little, little, little bit of top and right maybe, but no, but he's see. just played it so soft. Oh, it's in the pocket. Yeah, he's got he's got the blue. I think he's okay. Yeah, One. so this is a chance now for Virtuoso. Don't go for the black, for goodness sake, from there. <laughs> just leave the black alone. For now, yeah, it's, yeah. it's in a very good very good spot, but yeah, for now. Just it is, it. for now, but it's, it's just, as you say, too t- high tariff at the moment. I, I wouldn't... Uh, I'd leave that one alone. The blue, definitely the shot to play here. But again, what, he's what not it, playing. He's with a lot of pace. He's not committed too much to it. This isn't exactly the, the Fandango we saw with the pink in the yeah. last frame. Not that I blame him, but this is soft, to say the least. He's going to make it to the pocket, but most importantly... He Ooh. doesn't pot it. I wow. thought it might have come close to that Angel near we, jaw, and that was the what? fatal kiss in the end on that near jaw. So this is wow. really cagey. I mean, both players have had an opportunity now, if it went right, to, to win the frame. And yeah. it's got to be on the, the, the minds of both players, and that's what's making things a bit more hesitant. But Tommy straight down to play this one, no qualms. And again, playing this soft... It's okay. I just don't. Uh, yeah, okay. I just don't like that at all. I just think it's so, such what? a negative way to play shots, and yeah, I just don't like that soft play. But I mean, um, this is another one. Oh, he's missed oh, the black. Dear me. But what did me. I say earlier? Leave the black alone. I can Martin kind of Gold. understand it a little bit more with the blue, <laughs> and again the the PTSD he's got from last year. But I've said it before. I'll say it again because I have to. This is a real chance. If yeah. Virtuoso can get in, this is a real chance to win the game. And thank goodness, or even though there aren't many points scored here, A, we haven't had the fouls yet, and B, it's a much this more is wide too open wild. frame. Uh, yeah, that was too wild for me. Because the, 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 you were screwing into the red, which was coming yeah. back, and he almost potted the black. Um, yeah, I th- he, needs to, he needs to get the black back on its spot because that will change the frame quite a bit. The, yeah, and then and then he can start making breaks, bring the blue back on its spot. 
all those reds are so lonely down there. They need a colour to, to accompany them. So <laughs> you need to play a good shot on this black, get on a red nicely, and then you can start doing some damage. Yeah, certainly. Taking a bit of time over this shot. This could be crucial. You know, if you get this right, as you say, black back on its spot, could be a frame winner. Yeah. Yeah, he's got plenty of he's got plenty of room here. Dude. Like he's got a, a lot of uh, margin for error. Like he's just got to get the white over that side of the table, which he has, Eight. and he's fine. You know, he's got like two or three reds to go for here. Yeah, so it's he's... nice having the option definitely at this point. And let's see what happens. He's still there's still of course a lot of reds on the table, a long way to go mm. potentially in this frame. But if you start there's scoring a... points like we saw in the last frame, the frame can be over very quickly, can't it? Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of reds blocking that black now. So now what he needs to do is he's pot a, pot a red, bring the blue back into play, and get one of these reds that is blocking the black. Yeah. And then that's that would be what's going would go on in my head at no, the moment. And he looks like he hasn't got the blue again, but maybe the pink will go. Uh, no, no, nothing else is going in that pocket. No. But yeah, you would suggest this blue is just a tap in, but we've seen some funny old things, and uh, we saw last night in, uh, well, I'm speaking on on Sundays we commentate on this, but on last night's match, um, there was a pot almost like this, and mm. he missed. It didn't go in, and it's just it's just one of those conundrums of how could you miss that? It's easier to pot than to miss, but it's funny. No guarantee he's playing this with pace. That one has dropped, and he mm. had to play that with pace. You can see even at that pace, it's not moved the cue 14. ball too much. Fortunately, I think you can just see the long red past the brown. Yeah, I would have been tempted to play a cushion first there, just because then you're just guaranteeing the, the white yeah. to come out. But, uh, yeah, again, it's it's tricky. Ooh, I don't think you can see that red, you know. No, I think, some side. I think he's, he's, he hampered himself by, by playing the red direct, the, the blue directly. I mean, he, yeah. he, that was the right plan for me, like to, to get that blue back on its spot but yeah it's uh, it's tough and it looks like he's just going to have to play a bit of safety here which is going to be really really difficult he has got a, he's got four colours in in the bulk areas of hide behind so he should be okay um, but the yeah he could leave not moved anywhere though has it really no no so there is there's a couple probably a couple of reds on Things maybe one the one 40. right at the bottom and he's tied up the black even more. Yeah, anybody hoping to get on that black is going to have a problem. Goodness <laughs> yeah. me, that black is not any of the players' friends. Really not here. So, Yeah, it's frustrating for both of them, I think, because they're both It's amazing, it isn't it? Such differing frames. This one's so much more open, mm, yet mm. neither of them have took a chance, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know if their second-round opponent takes a bit of encouragement from that. And again, from that shot, it's almost like here, every time someone misses, the alarm bells ring and go, well, this is surely a big chance. Yeah, yeah. It the just nerves doesn't seem to be happening. No, no. I think uh, he's going for that red, but that's crazy. I think it's just the middle red out of those three oh, wow. on the left. He's getting down to play this quickly. This is crazy. Oh, that's well, that crazy. was... Uh, you know, we, we mentioned positive, but yeah. the line from positive to stupid isn't far. <laughs> and I think that one was definitely the latter. I think for me, it's it's not about ability. Like these these two obviously can play sneaker nineteen, but it, it's all about shot selection. And I think their their shot selection has been pretty poor so yeah. far. And I, I, the, I, those three reds that he was looking at, but the ones by as we look at it now on the right, the middle one was a better was a better shot. You know, it was a more natural angle. It wasn't as a wild shot as the other one. But well, he got down yeah. to play too quickly. You know, what we've got at stake, you can't be that. You just have to. It's so easy to do. I've done it myself. Just going right. You know, I'm going to get down to play this, and what will be will be. Mm. It's amazing how you can just take that extra second, rethink your shot, and you, you end mm. up changing your mind, which can turn Netflix. out for the worse. I accept that. You can sometimes be best served by going with your gut, but on that occasion, clearly, it hasn't worked. And a bit of a lifeline for Tom. This isn't easy. I'd I'd be I'd be tempted to get the pink back in play on that last shot. He went for the blue, but the pink was just dead on. He had a natural angle to get back into the to the reds because the red the black is so tied up to bring the pink back in. This is a good shot. Good shot. Yeah. yeah nice. So yeah, uh, for for me, I mean, the black is just is just dead weight at this point. So yeah, bringing the pink back would just guarantee a few more options when potting oh, these reds. Oh stop! Oh wow, that's. Yeah. Uh... It's anywhere but there kind yeah. of shot, isn't it? Anywhere but there. Well, Tom won't be able to believe his luck. Bless him. He's had no. uh, some horrible luck. 
But we, you know where that soft. comes from, though. The, the the reason why he's doing that is because he's playing them too soft. He's just yes. he's just just tapping them in, and that's what happens. Like you can't oh, get a grip of the ball. That's not that a bad a beautiful recovery shot. shot. <laughs> that was a beautiful shot, and that's what Tom Tommy's capable of. He's capable of these good shots that just come out of nowhere. 13. But he's, he he plays so negatively sometimes, and he just taps them in. So here, I would go for the pink you, you, because you bring in more options around the reds. The black is tied up. You're not just going for the blue and. Uh, it, it just it just creates more chances and he has done come there on come go. off the cushion nicely that's nicely lined up now so here he can he can even play this road on its own 19. and maybe have an angle to, to to knock this black out but you are relying on a little bit of lady luck but you've got the green there as well as a bit of a backup but again he's played it so soft yep yeah. yep yeah. You've got to bite the bullet, haven't you? Sometimes and go for think, it. And, yeah, and... just not even like you know seventy or eighty no. percent. I'm just talking forty percent here. You know, you don't, not, I'm not. I'm not talking about no, not locking him around the here, table. No, and he's he, yeah. It's, it's it's just this slow play. It's, it's I'm finding it quite sort of frustrating, really. Yeah, well, there's not there's you're not really committing to a break, are you? Because you're no. just playing for the pot, and if the position comes, then great. But after a decent break. He's not played that well at all. He's brought that red into play. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is uh, an interesting one. Again, you wouldn't have Martin thought that, Gold, what are we now, 15, 16 minutes into this frame, that we'd, we'd pretty much be at a status quo. Both players pretty close together. But funnily enough, not many reds left on the table because, of course, there have been plenty of reds potted, but just not with colours. That's why the scores are so low at the moment, which means if somebody can muster a break together, which could be started with a long pot here... This could be a frame win, and that is the red for Virtuoso. Yeah, One. it's still it's still tough from here because you've got to do some work. You know, you've got you two have. reds that look like he's going to have a look now, and I think they go. Um, but then the other two reds are are a little bit trickier. Um, I'd be keen to see out of those two reds by the black, the one left of the black goes in the bottom right corner. I think it does, and I if that does, does go, well. that that that's a very important thing to know. Um, but yeah, again, look. So here he's going to have to play the pink again. Seven. This is tough. He's got work to do. Yeah, definitely. Just thinking, those three reds with high value colours, twenty four. That's good. Oh, it's not quite going to win the frame without bringing that no. one extra red no. into play, which is a shame. No, he's, uh, he's going to have to. I'd be tempted just to try and get high on this pink at some point. Not. I mean, I know he's played low now, but. At some point, I'd be telling myself, right, get high on the pink, play into the red and the black. Um, but, yeah, picking off the loose reds isn't a bad idea for now, just to get the points on the board. But Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't think you can be looking at clearing the table here. I think you just have to look at getting a few points on the board, get a healthy advantage in this frame, and, and, and just see what happens. Because from what we've seen so far, although we know he's capable of it, Tommy's really struggled to muster much together again from that. Yeah. Unless he changes his, his stance the way he's playing, then <laughs> yeah. he's, he's going to struggle to make too much. Yeah, I I think... I, I, I don't think he's looked at it yet, but I, I really want to know if that red goes at the left of the black into the right corner. Because sure I, I just look at it now. 14. Yeah, I, I don't think he's even spotted it. and I it, From that angle here... Where we're looking now, it definitely it does. looks like it goes. Yeah, I'd say this definitely does go. So maybe he's just assumed that it goes, but for me, I'd, I'd, I'd double check. Just make but... sure of that, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I've done that cause... in the past myself and then got down to play it and had the heartbreaking realisation it doesn't go. So Because that, that red... Ooh, but never mind that, that red. he's missed oh. this red. It, it, this frame is just swings forcing. and roundabouts. <laughs> it's mad, it isn't really it? It yeah. is, you know, and it's amazing that it's so tight. You'd have thought somebody would have took the initiative here, but this is the... The pressure of the game, don't just pot and cold all the time. But again, oh, oh well, no. for the second year in a row, no. he's done it again. Oh, things are oh, weak. Tommy, <laughs> oh. Tommy, Tommy, no. And that's that slow play. That's just rolling it in. Yeah. That's, that's why he did it last time. He just doesn't have confidence when it comes to just hitting the ball hard. And, However, oh. if I was a, his opponent, I wouldn't be playing side here. I really wouldn't. Just, no, just you, hit the red and, and just the, yeah, exactly. You're right. Just hit the red. It'll tuck behind the black. You'll be on the. You'll be up the bottom. Sorry, the the top left of the table. Maybe behind the the, the brown or yellow. Yeah, just hit the damn thing. Oh, this is very soft. 
Yeah, he, he underhit it there. Yeah, on massively the power underhit bar. it, but he's got away with that. He's left yeah. it on the cushion. Very lucky. Very lucky. It's got a bit uh, of mileage in it yet, this. Tommy Triangle strikes again, eh? He does. He does, but amazingly, Bless he's him. not been punished for it at all. No, not like the uh, frame and match one that he did last oh, time. Oh, where's this red going? Oh, oh, he's just made it too easy for him, hasn't it? He's just yeah. made it too easy for him. Well, yeah. I, I say he's made it too easy for him. He's got to pot this first. Yeah, he's he's just rolling this one in, which. But red I don't and pink, which you would guess is what he's going to go for. Red and pink gives him a lead of twenty-one points with thirty-five one. on the table, so it won't be all cut and dry. No. Obviously, whoever gets that last red, there'll only be 27 on the table. So if he can get the pink and the last red, which he isn't going to get here, I'd be very shocked to see him play a shot that brings that red into play. Just guarantee the pot here and, and worry about the rest later, because from what we've seen, it's going to need some good chance for Tommy to get back into this. Just so don't, I don't go like in this. off here. I don't, I don't, look at what he's doing to the white here. He's putting bottom right on it. and He's, hoping, he's hitting and hoping a bit here, and yeah, it's just... I just don't see why he needed to do that, really. Uh, no, seven. no, it just makes it trickier for himself. That being said, he's in a very good position here now for the match. He's twenty-one up. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like he could have, he, yeah, he could have screwed it back a little bit, and then he could have been high on the red, and then he could have stunned it behind the black or something. But whatever. I mean, he, he, he's, he's if he hits this thin and just plays it nice and at a nice pace, he's he's in a good position again. So he yeah, is, he's played that and well. it's last chance saloon now for Tom. Really That's is. a good shot. That's a good it shot. It's a very good shot. Not a tough one to get out of, but seven. at this point, when you're that far ahead, yeah, I'd take that all day. It's a lovely cushion to have now at this point. You know, Tom makes another mistake, and you'd say that it's probably going to be frame <laughs> and match. And yeah. uh, the other match in this duo has been played. Um, match number 14 between Chris Magoo and Big Mac has ended 2 1 to Big Mac. So. Mm. Whoever wins this match will be taking on Big Mac. And obviously, that one not televised, so we can tell you that without uh, any spoilers. But it's uh, going to be an interesting second round. Whichever one of these players gets into it, I mean, again, we don't know what happened in the other match, but there are a few things if Virtuoso is to get through here, there's a few things he's got to cut out, particularly in a best of five. You know, he can maybe get away with it in a best of three, mm -hmm. but in a longer match, you know, he isn't going to get away with some of the things he's done. No, I, I, well, he, no, he has to step it up. He has to step yeah. it up. But you know, first round jitters, I think. Um, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I think when the other person starts well, making mistakes, going. Oh. oh, yeah. When the other person makes mistakes, sometimes that can rub off on you. Yes, definitely. as well. So when the other person plays well, that can rub off on you as well. So yeah, I, I think maybe Virtuoso will be a player where. If someone's knocking in hundreds against him consistently, he's gonna have, he's gonna have to realise that he's he needs to do something about it. But these have been scrappy frames. Both players have had chances. Um, yeah, and it, there's still a chance here for 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 Tommy. But I, I kind of I kind of just assuming that he's not going to take it, judging on his yeah. You just record. feel like how he's played. There needs to be some sort of epiphany, some sort of big yeah. improvement, and <laughs> yeah, definitely. you just can't see it from the way he's played. And I think that's no. just. I think it's not a confidence thing. I think it's just the way he's come into this, and we've seen it throughout throughout this uh, fifty odd minute match that it's just been yeah, you know, too, too soft and and just poking the reds in, and you know it's. I love, I, love Tom, I love Tommy, and he, he plays some great, great shots yeah. and pots the balls really, really well. But I think his shot selection sometimes lets him down, and and uh, I think that's what's let him down today. I would agree because both players, you know, Tom included in this, have both got the ability. We've seen that Tom's put some fantastic long pots in, but mm -hmm. yes, he's been a bit unlucky. But ultimately, do you make your own luck sometimes? You know, you have to, yeah. you have to play those positive shots, not just potting the reds, but maybe going into them and, and giving yourself more of a chance. You, you know, you make your own luck in this in this game sometimes. Not he has sure. been unlucky, I accept that, but there's, there's a sure mixture what that of was, both sorry. elements here. The cue ball's just going to hit the cushion, so that's okay. But <laughs> I, was, I, don't, I don't know what was going on with that shot. It didn't seem... He's got it safe, right though. Yeah, it's safe, I know, but I just... Yeah, I, I, I don't think I would have recommended that, but yeah, it's worked out well. It has worked out well, and... That's good. Yeah, that's that's a good reply. That's a good return there. 
Is he snookered here? I think. It's yeah, he is completely snookered. Full ball snooker. Can't come off the top cushion, so. Off the bolt cushion, sorry. So he. Yeah, he has to play this well. Could knock it out of the pocket, could leave it. Uh, I just think looking shot. at where these colours are, that there's not a massive amount of risk to this shot with Virtuo. So in terms of, no. as you say, if he leaves it, I don't see Tommy clearing up. So there's that there's that bit of comfort that he's got. Mm. So he's hit the red, that's the most important thing. Yeah, he's left a long shot here. He has left a long pot. As I said, though, I don't... I, I could be wrong. This is the time. This is the chance <laughs> for Tommy to step up his game. Definitely. It might be the he last chance to, he gets. He just needs to screw it back like here, like like play decent, decent pace. Screw it back. You got the black, That's the blue, it. and the, the the yellow. There you go. But where oh, is this black? black ball going? He's all right. He's got. Oh, he's fine. You know what though? That's that's tough now because the yellow yeah. only goes. It doesn't go in that pocket which he would have liked. So he has to play. For me, he has to play the blue. And come off the top cushion. Tough and play shot, the yellow man. in the the right top right. So this is. This is tough. That was unfortunate because for the first time he'd actually played. Mm. A, well, <laughs> not for the first time he played a good shot, but for the first time he'd, he'd gone and committed to that, and yeah. he's had the same fortune he's had playing the other way. So he, he might not listen to us in the future and just to just <laughs> keep the uh, tippy tappy snooker up. But yeah. here we go, a bit more commitment. Now. I suppose it's really the fact that he's got nothing to lose at this point. I suppose no. because uh, you know if he gives the, up yeah. another opportunity, he might. That's... Six. Uh, it'll probably be out of this match now. I don't think the yellow goes. Does I was about it? to say, does this yellow go? I don't think it does. I don't think it does, but it's it's got a funny way of deceiving you. These tables, it might just pass the black. Uh, well, that's a big fat no, but I'll no. tell you something. He's well, he's all right. He's all right, but can he can he still play this? Martin Ball. I think he'll have a go. I'd say I think he'll have a go. Oh, this is tight. Hello. Bit of a Mazané shot for me. Hello. Uh, He's got down to play this quick. Oh, uh, well, I guess he hasn't got much to lose, but it's that sort of play that he needs to cut out because I understand that it's just, well, you know, might as, might as well go for it, but that's, uh, I'm not sure that's the way to go, personally. Um, yeah, I think for me, I'd go top cushion, uh, off the bulk cushion first. I'm feeling, oh, well, that's uh, not going to help things, and the cue ball is okay, but. Again, Tom giving away more points. This might just come down to foul points, foul you know, in the end. Only, uh, Engine we well, actually, four. it will, won't it? He's uh, mm. 19 behind, and you, know, you, you might think that this will come down to foul points in the end. Is, is he going to play on here? That's uh, an interesting one. Mm. Yeah, I feel like there's some left. sort of resolution coming here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, for me, hit it, hit it thin on the left side. Not too hard, so you're leaving it over the top right pocket, and the white should come down nicely. Oh, yeah. He's trying that, to get that's... him in be with a problem with the green, and he's not playing a bad shot at all there. Yeah, definitely. So, tense moments here for Tom. Now, as he makes a mistake, could be all over. Hasn't been helped by giving those four points away, to be honest, uh, at all. Let's see how we get out of this one. Oof. Tell you what, he nearly potted that yellow. Where's the green going? It's okay, but that yellow... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'll what tell you kiss. what, they've had a bit of misfortune, but these players have had a hell of a lot of fortune at the same time. That kiss mm. is about the best we've seen all match. Straight back onto the bulk cushion. I thought that was going to be frame over there. Uh, yeah. So let's see what Virtuoso does. He's going to play thin off the yellow. And again, he's bringing out some of his good stuff now. This is oh, good to see. Nice. That's nice. Oh, this is tricky. Yeah, it's a really good sneaker. Well, his gamer tag is like magic, but not. He's hoping for a <laughs> bit of magic now. Swerved it. Oh, where's this yellow going to end up? He's going to come off the cushion. Oh. This is the chance, unless he gets behind the brown. Oh, ah, yeah, I think that's a snooker as well. It's it again, is. It's only a swerve, really, but... It is, it's... but you know, nevertheless, you know, in, the, in these, these sorts of moments, it's funny how this goes. He could pot this. He's looking to do so. Yeah, I, I think I would go for it, definitely. Yeah, the position that Virtuoso is in, you safe. can understand. So he's going for this play at a good pace, but... Uh, no. Yeah. 
you've just got to hit the white perfect. I, I'd have played it a bit harder so the white would have gone by the black, but yeah, I'd have gone for that as well. I can't blame him. No, this is tricky now for Tom, actually, the way he's left it, because the transition from yellow to green is tough, to say the least. But he's straight down to play it again at that slow pace. It's two Just points. I can understand why he's played two. that, I guess. A bit of to top and right, and he would have got to the green, I think. I think he just he just doesn't see the shots for me. Um, he just pots them and pots them gently, and I think that's his downfall. Martin Gould, two. Well, I think what's happened here, I think the uh, match went over the hour mark, unfortunately, and on the oh, PS, okay. uh, on the PlayStation, the recording stops after an hour. Yeah. Um, so we did miss a few shots there, unfortunately, and it looks like that now we can return to the action, that the green mm. is over the middle pocket. And there it is. And the green is there. So I, I didn't have a look at the scores. I think there's 22 um, is the gap, I feel. Here, Three. let's have a quick look. So he's 50. Oh, no, it's 20. So he still needs the brown. Yeah. Pop the brown, and this should be the match, barring Stukas. It's something that we have to say all the time, just to cover <laughs> ourselves. Because this match has been a strange one, it's fair to say. It's been a good match yeah. so far. And yeah, I've enjoyed it, yeah. It has, Especially yeah. the second frame. The second frame has been... Uh, very enjoyable. And the Browns a, there. Great so shot. Boring Snookers, Virtuoso, beats Tommy Triangle 2-0. But let's see. The blue will, you would say, all but confirm it, really. He's 24 up. The blue will put him 29 up with 13 on the table. Yeah. Let's just make sure he pots this. Yeah, he should get this. But you'd think he'll get through now. So he's got a decent chance in the next round against Big Mac to get through to the uh, quarterfinals. But again, it, it's just... He showed some real glimmers of hope, I think, here with the, with the way he's mm-hmm. played. But yep. I Just, guess you can put it down to first-round jitters, some of the the bad things he's done. Yeah. But, you know, an interesting contender, certainly in there. He just, yeah, he's, he just needs to settle down, I think. he's He's got the eye for it. I think he just needs to... So you played oh. the original... Originally, for that blue, he was playing the right shot. He was playing it at the right pace, and then he just dropped the weight. And he would have been nicer on... He would have been behind this pink a little bit more if he did played it at 30 40%, but... Yeah, he's, he's, he's still making the right shots here, and uh, he's played well. He has, oh, so yeah, the pink's yeah. down, that all but confirms it, it now. Is. And commiserations to Tom. Um, I think he didn't play badly there, but it Love does you, make you wonder whether he'd have <laughs> committed to some of these shots a bit more how he'd have gone on. So that black yeah. confirms it. Virtuoso reloaded, beats Tommy Triangle by two frames nil. So Tommy is out, Virtuoso in the second round Three. will go on to and play match. big max. So good stuff there. Um, highest break of 47 in that match so nothing too fancy but in the end you know Virtuoso delivered when he counted didn't he mm, definitely definitely uh, again just better shot selection from Virtuoso Tommy's you know he, he pots some cracking balls sometimes but just one too many unforced errors yeah absolutely so that's the end of the first round coverage from this quarter of the first round so Virtuoso reloaded we don't need to remind you, of course, but we will. Virtuoso Reloaded goes through against Tommy Triangle. The final score, two frames to nil.